Das sollte das auf teuer jetzt. I just remembered when uh, I asked you guys that I had not yet uh, installed uh, the, or oh, I have not yet uploaded the, the files, the installation files. So right now I have just uploaded them. You guys can go and see these files, uh, download them, and then you can install on your computer. Uh, I've also included what we call the ENSP installation guide in case you need the guidance in installing the software. Uh, I've also included it there. It's recommended that you first start with uh, uh, the softwares of the Wireshark, uh, include WinCup, also install VirtualBox before you install uh, the ENSP uh, software. Uh, so that's what our exercise should be uh, about. I hope no one should be having challenges. Uh, the link is here, I can share with you the link, guys. Uh, so here is the software link for you guys to download from.
so you can now download the software and uh, shall we go to use it once so we shall be rolling uh, through this uh, material Okay, so let's continue with uh, our chapter. So we have what we call the VRP introduction and best configurations. Uh, let's first look through the VRP platform. The VRP platform is a versatile platform for Huawei, uh, Huawei devices. Uh, so most of the devices for Huawei routers, switches, access points, SCs, uh, all run on this platform. So the platform has uh, various attributes and capabilities. Uh, we shall be able to look at them. Uh, uh, there are various versions that are used on this on this platform. Uh, we shall be able to see the history of this version and uh, how it has come to be developed over the years. Uh, so the versatile platform, uh, we shall look at the various commands that are being used to configure the VRP platform, but also how the upgrades are being done on this platform. So we shall introduce the VRP, and uh, the VRP is the versatile routing platform uh, used on Huawei devices. Uh, for all networking operations uh, that are used to support either data communication products or network operating systems, uh, this software is going to run on those devices. Uh, Build routers, switches, uh, all devices, most of all the devices run using the VRP, uh, the VRP platform. And this platform uh, is capable of providing you with routing information or uh, routing for the devices uh, that are working with. Uh, so briefly, there is a, a, a timeline that has been put for uh, uh, the history of the VRP, uh, giving us the uh, introduction to a couple of versions of this software. Uh, this software or the VRP platform has got various versions from one up to uh, eighth version. Uh, so we have VRP one, uh, VRP two, VRP three, four, I mean five and eight. Uh, uh, from the years of 1998, uh, to 2001, that was uh, VRP version 1. Uh, that was used to be able to control centrally uh, the various network designs, but also was used for uh, uh, low-level or low-end routers. Uh, the only challenge it had, it was having uh, low performance, uh, low performance for the devices. Uh, as seen. So another version, which is uh, the VRP version 2, was developed in 1999 and ran up to the 2000s. Uh, for it, it was where the basis for developing uh, VRP version 3 came from. VRP 3 came in from uh, 2000, uh, uh, 2000 uh, and uh, so its operations up to 2004. Uh, this version here uh, did not match uh, take off for long, uh, it was succeeded by uh, VRP version 5. Now VRP version 5 uh, works for distributed networks or it is a distributed network operating system and it offers uh, features of high extensibility, reliability and also having good performance. Uh, there are more than five carriers worldwide that are using devices that are running on this VRP and uh, uh, on top of that uh, there are variable uh, features that are uh, coupled with these devices. So for VRP8 uh, is a version that was uh, uh, being brought up on market after very many uh, developments of the various versions that did not end up on market. So it is a new uh, generation network operating system 
that is being used in distributed multi-process and also component architectures. This BRP8 version is supporting a couple of devices uh, that are also working in the virtualized networks. Uh, for example, the cloud computing devices uh, used uh, or they use uh, this kind of uh, this kind of uh, uh, style routing platform. Uh, so uh, that is uh, to detail to you. And uh, for our, for now, uh, there is VRP8 in use, and also there is VRP5. Uh, so those two are still right now are uh, used in the market and the products that we have on the market in the routers, uh, the switches, the APs and SCs uh, that are used in our networks. All right. Uh, so that is uh, briefly uh, the history about about uh, the VRP uh, platform, and uh, we can see its applicability in the devices. For example, this SC here, which is 6605, which is one of the uh, pretty good SCs that to be used on your network, uh, is running uh, uh, this platform, the VRP platform. Uh, it can be run on using the Windows 7 and Windows 10 uh, operating system, and you can connect uh, or you can uh, manage it using uh, using Putty, uh, which is a third-party uh, software for you to connect. So as you connect your device to the uh, uh, to the console port of your of your of your of your of your device to the RS port of your computer, you can be able to access uh, its uh, uh, its platform or command line interface. Once you access the command line interface of that device, uh, that means you'll be able to uh, to make changes on that device and also help on how to manage the resources of that device. You can allocate uh, the various channels of management that that device uses, but also you control how it functions uh, once you log on to uh, the device. So actually, uh, we recommend uh, that we do a practical about this uh, so that you guys can uh, very well be versed with this kind of technology. Uh, I want to know how many people so far now have not yet installed the ENSP or having challenges. Anyone having challenges installing the software? Uh, can you guys talk to me? What's happening? Have you already installed the softwares or you have not installed the softwares? You can talk to me. Mm -hmm. I've installed it. It's up and running. Okay. That's good. Anyone having a challenge? If you don't have any challenges, okay, but I want those people who have any challenges. If you have not yet installed, you can talk to me. If you have a challenge installing, you can talk to me. Because I assume that you guys all have finished installing yet some of you having challenges. Yes, Emmanuel. Daniel, I'm having challenge accessing the drive. Uh, what is happening? You don't have rights? Having access denied. Okay. Uh, let me check on the server here. Okay, apart from him, uh, any other person having a challenge? Okay, um, hmm. Uh, I've already installed mine. Okay.
apart from Emmanuel, who else needs rights? Uh, but I believe all people that filled out the the form for the pre-training survey, all of them have rights. So if you tell me that you don't have rights, I just know that you do not perform that uh, that task of uh, of uh, the pre the pre-training survey, and you're going to have uh, serious issues because uh, all the information is given to only those people that confirmed their availability. Uh, so I would recommend, because the deadline is today, uh, of filling out that form, so you can go out and fill out that form. Is it in the first email? Uh, if you have been following, I made a brief, a brief, but it is in the first email, of course, I gave you the first email. But I made a brief quote about it, and uh, I sent it, having all the links available for you to use. Any other person requesting for rights? Because there are very many people I can, I, I only choose uh, the guys that are in this meeting. And uh, further from that, if you have not filled out the form, that means you will no longer be having rights of access to the materials and also to the resources. Anyone else? So that means all of you guys have installed the ENSP. That's great. Uh, because we need to have an, interact uh, an interactive uh, session, uh, we'll be requesting various of you guys to uh, uh, to share uh, your your topos or your ENSP files, so you can share with us and work together. Uh, other than me operating at this side, as you guys are just looking on. Okay. Um, Aria, I did not get, uh, you're failing to download the software. What is it saying? Is it asking for rights or it is uh, just failing because of the network? I need to know. Aria? So I request someone, uh, when you come to the time of configuring, uh, to set up a topology, I will give you the topology to set up, and then uh, we shall be sharing uh, from one person to another. Uh, someone can configure the BISC, another person can configure uh, other configurations as we move on uh, to that side of practicing. Anyone uh, having any challenge? Ali, I did not get what is causing your download to fail? Is it because of your internet or it is requiring for permission? Because other people have been it's able to- It's actually not requiring for, it's not requiring any permission. I'm trying to click on that link you sent in the group chat for okay. the software download thing. It takes me to Google Drive, but I can't, every time I tap on the folders, it's not even opening. Oh. Has anyone been able to click at the link at work? Which is failing for everyone. Hello? Yes. Failing to me too. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, I'll share the entire folder, uh, the entire folder for wireless. Earlier, you can uh, just click at this link, and then you go and choose that folder for uh, for software. Uh, that is the main folder. Okay. 
Yes, Ronald. Uh, me too, I can't, I can't download. Uh, text me to the, to the, to my account to sign in, to enter my email, but every time I click next, there's nothing happening. Uh, you can try the new link, all of you guys that had challenges with the earlier link. Uh, but it's only for those people that have already filled out the preliminary uh, because the rest of the guys uh, might not be having the rights since you did not fill out uh hello daniel yeah. emma yes uh now i've, I've checked out uh, in my mail uh i did actually fill out that uh, survey what survey form because it's, it's telling me that uh, you already responded but you don't have permission? Yes, I do, I, do, I do not have permission. When did you fill out the form? Huh? When did you fill out the form? Yes, sir, then. Uh, maybe your information has not been yet upgraded. Okay, uh, what's your name? Huh? What's your name? Emmanuel Achor. Emmanuel, I've just granted you rights. You reload your page. Uh, yes or not? Uh, yes, Daniel. Uh, I've, I've sent. It, it told me that it sent a request. Eh? Request sent. Well, the new the new link you sent me. So I clicked on it. Took me to Google Drive. So I sent you. It it said that it sent the request. I've already replied to you. All the people that have requested rights and are in this meeting, just talk to me. I grant you the rights. Uh, you check your email because the reply comes back and you can click on that link that has been sent to your email. Okay? Anyone having any challenges so far? I will assume that all the people in this meeting now have already installed apart from the few that have not yet been getting the rights to, uh, to download. Yes, Elias. Hello. Yes, please. Like, I clicked on the link that was sent. Yeah. But then, when when it directs me to, I only see some video. Okay, uh, you can use the. Uh, it includes. You can use this last link I have shared right now, in the chat. It's the. It's the link that I've used. The one that has the uh, WLAN two point zero. Like. So, 
can you please specify for me the one to click? Okay, uh, let me share for you this page. Uh, this is the one for the WLAN uh, 2.0 link that I've just shared. Emmanuel, list your email so that you can see uh, the link that has been sent. Uh, for uh, uh, Hadija, uh, this is the link, okay, uh, that I've just sent for the uh, for the W. Yes. Uh, the W. And you see, it has worked. So I don't know how yours just takes you to one PDF. Just click on Make I've clicked on the first folder. Yes, this uh, ENSP folder, right? And those are the softwares there. Yes. Have you seen them? Let me try again and see. Yes, I've seen them. Uh, they have now loaded, right? Uh, Let me try again and see. Yeah, that is the link there. I've just resent it in the chat here, uh, the meeting chat. Have you seen it? Yes. Okay. Uh, so you can you can be now able to download Emmanuel list your email so that you can see. Uh, uh, you can now be able to. Uh, to see the permission granted, and then you click from there. Ronald, is it okay now? Are you sorted? Okay. I'm still uh, it not. Uh, I've seen the folders, the PDF. I've seen them, but then the other folder. I'm still looking for it. Don't look for it. ENSP. I've seen it, but every time. Just click at this link of the W. I don't do what? Click at the W line ending, then you'll be able to see everything. You just click there, it will take you to see the ENSP folder, click at it, and you will be able to go. Yes, I've clicked on the ENSP folder, but it seems like it's empty. <laughs> My draft was changing. I don't know. Like it is empty. The page is still loading. Oh, it has finished to load. It has finished loading. Can I share my screen? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure, you can share. Okay. I'm designing the topology. I want you guys to design the topology. Mm -hmm. uh, just get out to an SC, get out the 6605 SC, and then uh, connect. Uh, let me just look for the topology, you shall come back. Uh, you can connect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can construct the topology here. Yeah. So that we can use it for making the initial configurations. I'm not seeing the guy who said he's going to share. What happened? Just click on that button sharing. Yes, Daniel, I can't even see the button. Where is it for sharing? It's hard showing you from this side. Uh, but your Zoom should. Are you using a phone? Are you using a computer? I'm using a. I'm using a computer. You should be able to see it. Uh, if you go to where you see mute, there is a video. There is a security participants. New share. There is a share there. Let him first maximize the screen.
I am sharing my screen. Okay, go back to that folder. Daniel, can you hear me? I can hear you. Go back to the uh, WLAN 2.0 folder. Okay, I'm this is the folder. Uh, okay. This is the link you sent. This one. Okay, open. Okay, click in the screen. So I have the PDF. Mm. Just be like that. I have I have lots of trail. Have you requested for permission? Your honor. Yes, I yes, yes, I requested for permission. You sent it to me. Daniel, is it possible to put the ENSP in the Telegram group? Yeah, sure. Like you just, like you just put the files direct the Telegram group instead of creating the Google link and all that. So uh, I just click on the HCIA uh, WLAN V2.0. V2 Why oh, first open permission granted? Open, open permission granted, please. Daniel. All right. 